Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to modify an array stored in an object. Now you've seen all the basic uh, operations for JavaScript objects. You can modify and remove key value pairs, check if a key exists, and iterate over all the keys in an object. As you continue learning JavaScript, you will see even more versatile applications of, uh, applications of objects. Additionally, the data structures lessons located in the coding interview prep section of the curriculum also covers ES6 map and set objects, both of which are similar to ordinary objects, but provide some additional features. Now that you've learned the basics of arrays and objects, you're fully prepared to begin tr tackling more complex problems using JavaScript. Take a look at the object we provide in the code editor. The user object contains three keys. The data key contains five keys, one of which contains an array of friends. From this, you can see how flexible objects are as data structures. We've started writing a function add friend. Finish writing it so that it takes a user object and adds the name of the friend argument to the array stored in user.data.friends and returns that array. So um, here we already have it. Well, we want it to, it takes the um, object and it returns that array. Okay, so it returns the friends array. Here's the friends. So we're user.data.friends and we want it to return the friends array. Finish. So it takes a user object, adds the name of the friend argument to the array stored in user.data.friends and returns that array. Cool. So um, at the end, we want to uh, return user. Well, you see here it's being passed in as user. So we want to say we want to return user object dot data dot friends. Cool. So now we're returning the array but we want to um, add, uh, we want to dot push the friend. And, uh, oh, okay, so we're being returned. So, the friends, we can make, instead of returning it here, we can just uh, return user.dev.friends. And then we can push on the friend. Um, so we've added Pete to the list now. And that's going to do it. Um, if we were to console.log beneath this, the user will have this whole object. And you'll see that the friends has Pete added to it now. So we've here, we've selected the friends group. And then we're pushing on friend. And then we're returning the friends object. If we run the tests, it should pass. Okay, that's it for data structures. Great work. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.